According to Westgate Las Vegas Superbook, LeBron James and Kawhi Leonard enter the season as the favorites to win MVP at 4 to 1 with Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook and the Greek Freak rounding out the top five. Kyrie, by the way, eighth best odds. Stephen A. Who's going to win it this year? Who's your MVP? I got Kawhi Leonard for the San Antonio Spurs as my MVP. Cleveland doesn't like that. Here's the deal. Let's break this down. If you're Russell Westbrook, you got to figure out a way to get Paul George and Carmelo Anthony involved. So for in the interest of greater success, you have to scale it back as opposed to being the do-it-all individual you had to be last year. So you take him out of the mix. Don't give me the Greek freak. You're in Milwaukee. They ain't going to be good enough for you to be a league MVP award winner. Excuse me. You may not even be one of the top five teams in the Eastern Conference. You'll get to the playoffs. He's special, but the future is bright for him. It's just not right now where he's going to be the league MVP. When we look at somebody like a Kevin Durant, again, as much of a stud and a star as he is, Brian Wintour just said it. Steph Curry hasn't looked, has, has never looked better. You still got Klay Thompson there, Draymond Green there. So now we get to LeBron James. Here's, here's the issue with LeBron James. LeBron James is going to do what he needs to do to get everybody together, to get everybody maturated to the situation, including D-Wade. You got to get JR over the doldrums of not being a starter. D-Wade acclimated to things. Derrick Rose, Crowder, and then Isaiah comes back, and you got to get him ingratiated in because LeBron's thinking big picture, championship. He already got four league MVPs. He's not going to prioritize that. Kawhi Leonard. What else do you have in San Antonio if you don't have Kawhi Leonard? No matter what Greg Popovich wants to do, can't do it without Kawhi. Kawhi is going to harbor, harbor all that responsibility, and that's why he's going to get the most credit for the success that they enjoy in a regular season. Kawhi Leonard is going to win league MVP, in my opinion. On a per-game basis, I agree with you that Kawhi could make that case, but he frequently doesn't play a full season due to injury, and his quad is injured right now, right? So... I think the answer is going to be LeBron James, in fact, Stephen A. LeBron James is going to win it because in a year where there is not, for some of the reasons that you just pointed out, a definitive front runner for MVP, I think the voters will look at LeBron, who will be in the mix with others, and see that this might be the last chance they have to give him the award. LeBron, like Kobe, like especially Michael Jordan, some of his MVPs belong to other players because it gets monotonous giving the, the same guy the MVP every year. And eventually, I think the voters are going to look, and it'll be this year, like, all right, some of these other guys have some of LeBron's MVPs. We're not going to be able, pro you know, there's a good chance we won't be able to give him another one after this. He's getting older, ton of minutes on his legs, all of that. Who knows where he'll be the following year? So I think in a crowded field where one doesn't stick out above the rest, LeBron's going to get a sentimental vote, and he will win the MVP award this year. <laughs> now that's funny. That's funny. 